Morocha. This video is sponsored by Cricut. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to personalize a doormat using your Cricut machine. Now buckle up, things are going to get crafty. I'll use this design which I put together with images and fonts from Cricut Access for this project. You can use the design you prefer. I'll be sharing the link to this project on my blog avantimorocha.com or if you follow me on Design Space, you can find it in my share projects. To be able to use this design, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. Since this is a large project, I'll be using Cricut Maker 3 because this machine can make a large cut in one pass. If you are using Cricut Maker or Cricut Explore 2, I will show you what to do. Select the design and change the longest dimension to 23.5 inches, which is equivalent to 59.5 centimeters. Now I will change the machine to Cricut Explore Family. Click on Make It. This is a large design, so you need to use the large mat. Click on OK. When I'm making this kind of projects, I prefer to center the design. Now click on continue. I'll select Cricut Explorer R2. Make sure the dial is on custom. If you are using Cricut Maker or Cricut Explorer 2, you will select the settings for premium outdoor vinyl. This is the setting that you are going to use when using permanent adhesive vinyl. Now you will send it to CAD. I'm back to the original design. I'll be using Cricut Maker 3. Remember to make a large cut with Cricut Maker 3 or Explore 3, you need to use a smart material. I'll be using a smart vinyl for this project. Click on make it. As you can see, this design has a 29 inches length. Since I'm using Maker 3 and a smart vinyl, I don't need to use the mat. Click on continue. Select the material, I'll be using a smart vinyl permanent. I've already loaded the fine point blade, now load the material. Cricut Maker 3 has a sensor that reads the dimension of the material and if for some reason you don't have enough material to complete the cut, you will get a warning on the sign space. Now start the job, I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut this design took 2 minutes 15 seconds. Start weeding, I'm making a stencil so I'll remove the pieces that form the design. Place a piece of transfer tape over the design. Use the scraper front and back to make sure the design gets transferred. Turn the design to the back and remove the smart vinyl backing. The stencil is ready. I'll be using this doormat that I got at IKEA. I recommend using a lean roller to remove the extra fibers. This will help the vinyl attach to the doormat a little more. Place the design. Keep in mind the adhesive vinyl will not be stuck the same way it will do to other non-porous surfaces. Center the design on the mat. Use the scraper to ensure the material attaches to the mat a little more. Cover the perimeter with painter's tape. Remove the transfer tape. Cover the rest of the perimeter with the painter's tape. I'll place these pins all over the small pieces. This will help keep them in place while painting. 
I recommend working on the project in the same area where you are going to paint it, the garage or backyard. I'll be using Flex Seal that in my opinion is the best product to make doormats. Cover the areas around the doormat. Spray the Flex Seal over the stencil. Now remove the stencil. Remove the small pieces. If you make any mistake like the one I have in letter V, you can remove the extra product with some acetone. I hope you like this project and if you make it, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I love to see it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in any of these Cricut machines, I'm going to share the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.